So we've got the brand new Hugo Sanchez, 92 rated, rapid plus, power shot, what more could go wrong? He's obviously got two different versions you can go for, the 5 star skiller, the 4 star weak foot, or vice versa, 4 star, 5 star, left footed, 5 foot 9, and a, a decent upgrade to be honest. We did get the left wing 91 last time round, and that one did have the dead ball plus, and then we do have the 89, which has got the acrobatic, so I'm kind of glad that we didn't get the same because i must admit it's a great pairing rapid is always brilliant no matter what the card especially in the attackers when it comes to the power shot i'm a big fan of it it may not be everybody's cup of tea and to be honest you probably don't get to use it in every match just because if you've got somebody who is heavy on the defense and and can really block it that is just going to be a hard shot to get off. He has got dead ball, power header, flare, first touch, acrobatic, and aerial on the others. And in terms of the upgrade, from the 91, we've had a free pace increase. We've had one on everything else, bar from shooting, they got a two. Obviously, composure is pretty good. Agility balance, fantastic. Let's just have a look and see if Hugo is worth only 333,000 on the first day. Right then, first touch on Sanchez. Free kick? Hey, first minute, it's got to be the quickest free kick we've had. <laughs> Not that it's anything relevant, but we have gone for the five-star skiller, obviously. Uh, again, there is a lot of people that, that kind of would go for Eva. Lovely little bit of skill. And oh, I, was trying to, I was trying to be too cocky. Come on now. Uh, it's the first minute in. We know full well he's going to be able to finish. I'm just very interested to see that rapid plus into the power shot combination. We obviously have to put him on the right-hand side. We want to see that left foot come across. There's the first touch. Oh, I, f I knew I should have gone inside. I, I didn't think he would uh, read the inside, to be honest. Good through ball into Mbappe. We find something else. Obviously, the, the rapid is going to work. Oh, I had that pass. Oh, there it is again. One more. Oh, get the shot off. I, I was going to say, I think he might have been offside. I wanted that first pass to him. I took the hesitation, and unfortunately... It didn't pay off very well, but so far, so good with him. I think in terms of kind of what we've got on the ball, it's everything I was kind of expecting from him. He would have been really nice with a 5-5, but I think we could say that about everybody. And I think if you just go on about it constantly, you're just never going to be happy with a card. Sometimes progression is a good thing strength-wise. What have we got? 75. I mean, you can definitely tell that... The wing was a really good position for him, and I think it's good for a lot more of the, the kind of faster, now more agile sort of players with a bit of a better shooting. The physicality drop of 76 is always going to cause somewhat issues. Keep running forward, whereas the rapid plus into the power shot back to him on the turn. There's the, oh, again, I was, I was kind of hoping it was a bit quicker there, but I think I needed to take a touch out for him to, to really get that power shot a bit quicker than before. How on earth, Mbappe turning me inside and out. Over the top, can we get the finish? Oh, it's a great save from Lloris. Super ball, I, I didn't think it was even going to get close, but manages to pull off at least something, kind of nearly makes the defender, or at least the, the goalkeeper, make a mistake. It's lagging in this game, though. I don't know. I've, I've loaded into this one, and I must admit, it's already, you can see it. Like, every time we go for, like, a run, it, it's just jittery. Oh, can we get a header from him? I mean, <laughs> if he wants to just head it to himself, that might be a better option. Need to see what sort of free kicks he's got. I don't think he was really a free kick taker before, but I must admit, some people do surprise me at times. A little header back. What, what is with everybody's heading at the moment? Little one, two. That's the one. Oh, he's got to be on side. He's got to be. Get the first touch. Get that power shot. Oh, it's stunning. That's what we want. Over the top. Beautiful precision. And he manages to get his first goal. I needed to make his run, I was going to say. Get that touch. Oh, he's going to turn back. No, he's not going to. Into his feet. Looking for something. There's the pass. A little bit late. Trying to get on the exit for that skill in time. He's going to pass it across back. Nice. There's the tackle.
inside. Power shot. Ooh. Oh, are we going to keep that in as well? I kind of don't want to. Beautiful. Wonder if he's going to get the... Is he going to get the header again? I, I don't know. I, oh, there's... No, okay, maybe not. Into his feet. Turn. He's an interesting one. I don't I don't see him as a header kind of card. What has he got? 94 head and accuracy, 89 jumping. I mean, it's not the worst in the world. He's standing at 5'9", so he's not really going to beat too many people outside. That's the ball. Finish! Lloris has been brilliant for him. Oh, there's the attack. Get the man running. Get the man running. Take that touch. Across goal, and we try something silky. It was never going in regardless. I feel like we were just that little touch too close to the keeper. There it is. Oh, he's got absolute space. We want to get onto that left foot if we... Oh. See what I mean? That that jitted literally at the moment where I've gone for the Ronaldo chop there. And it's just... Ooh, cleared out Harry Kane. But it's just... It's not a red. I was going to say, it's not a red, is it? I, I just... I needed that, that extra second. But for some reason, the frame rate dropped. And that's it. Stops it. Beautiful. But we're going to get a second chance here. All the way. Great pace. Looks... Oh, to be honest, that was my fault. That was atrocious. Why I didn't go any further. Can we get... Oh, we, as I said, we can't even get the header from it. Oh, he's got to get the run on there. Putielis doing the dirty. Oh, what on earth are these animations? Honestly, I think for 300k, it, if we're not talking about him just as he's missed an opportunity. I think for 300k, he's not bad. Like, I, I do think he was probably... He should be worth more, I'd say, from release especially. Like, I mean, I, I, I get that maybe to start with, like, he, he's really high and then he kind of drops down to maybe the 300, 400. But to start there, I think that's considerably low. To say that... I can't imagine there's, like, crazy amounts of people opening packs today. Like, obviously, people will be opening, but you could imagine a lot more on the, the Friday when, when the kind of brand new team's fully out. But the fact that now he's already dropped so much, that, for me, is just a crazy sign of a card. It's, it's, it's a weird one with him. There's got to be. Oh, it was close. And back across. Tried something cheeky again. Oh, but we got a free kick. What is that saying for him? Oh, 95, 92, 90. Is he moving that keeper? I think we, I think we got this. It's got to be, surely. Up and over. Simple treatment. That's a great wall over. Can we get the power shot, though? I mean, we get the, we get the corner. It weren't the greatest free kick. I, I don't know. I feel like I'm losing it with the free kicks. Normally, the up and over is the easiest one to get going. And I just can't get it going at all. Oh, of the post. And we go for the second again. He's very, very unlucky this time around. But that's a little bit better. Can we get the header this time? Lloris has been an absolute monster. Tackle. Bit of sprinting. Go on the inside. Who, who is this? Is that Auburn? There, there is no way Auburn is doing that to all my players. Bang. Oh, he is, he's actually a really decent card. He's strength-wise has been absolutely top tip. That, oh, that could have been brilliant. He's a great little skill. Gets around two, manages to find the space. If I was quick enough on the pads, might have been able to get a power shot off as well there. But I, I didn't think I had the angle personally. But what a little play on the inside there. Really agile. It's where the 96 and 93 agility balance really comes into play. And that's the finish. Little bit messy, but it works. 
So going into the overall form then, currently coming in at around about 330 to 350. I can imagine he probably will drop a little bit more as well. I don't know if we've got really an hourly graph, but you can see start at 650, very, very much 6 p.m. Straight away, literally an hour later, he's dropped 200. And then the next hour later, he's dropped another 100. I, I really don't see what the difference is here because when we look at somebody like, for instance, an Ian Wright, and correct me if I'm wrong with, with half of this. I don't know if it's the skill move or weak foot. Doesn't, to be honest, does it really matter? I, I suppose it kind of does, but kind of doesn't. So we go with him and then Van Nistelrooy because I think they are the more affordable cards that we've got. So we've got a 4-5, a 5-4, and a 5-4. I get Van Nistelrooy's price in terms of the icon. I think it's a great upgrade. No rapid plus. We've got literally identical cards here in terms of 5-4, rapid plus, power shot plus, 92 rated. Pace-wise, brilliant. Great, obviously, on the shooting. Passing is exactly the same. Decent dribbling upgrade. Bit of physicality. I don't get where the price difference is. Like, to be honest, Ian Wright has dropped down massively, but I could kind of imagine Hugo Sanchez doing the same as what Wright did. Kind of starts at that 700 mark, slowly decreases. But instead... Sanchez has just hit the absolute brick straight away. And I don't know whether that's because we've just had so many players recently or what, really. We've got Casemiro in the upgrade as well. We've got Larson. I think Mares has joined in, Forsberg, and a couple of others. Hergerberg has managed to get a striker as well, which is interesting. So it is an interesting Oh, uh, what is it? Uh, mini release. But in terms of Sanchez, I think he's got exactly what we imagined. A decent upgrade from him. Obviously, it's not necessarily major stat upgrades, but a 5-4 nonetheless. Great double play style plus added. Like I said, we got the dead ball and then the acrobatic plus. It's not really going to be anything crazy on them two. Whereas I do think this now completely changing into these two, much, much better. The Rapids always great, especially in the game where you've got high, tense, uh, high intense pace. And obviously adding that Rapid is just going to give you that kind of edge at the start. When it comes to chemistry styles, obviously you've got the Hawk, Sentinel, Backbone, depending on what people are going for. The Hawk is predominantly more for pace, shooting and physical because... In terms of dribbling, you can't get composure up. Everything else is above 92. I think that's pretty much at that level. So overall-wise, I think he's a great uh, kind of a mid-tier striker. He's not necessarily going to be against your R9s, but I think for what the price is, the icon, the play style plus, and the stats, he's a pretty fair on the, on the market price. We obviously got the other one at 225, so already only 100k more. A very, very good investment in my eyes. So let me know down below what you think, and I'll catch you all for the next one.